what's going on guys thank you so very much for coming to my youtube channel youtube channel and let's watch some cool videos okay kent christmas is a prophet i have done a video you're gonna sit in the description there okay uh in 2020 he gave a prophetic he does this every year like oh this year in january oh in 2021 january this is what's gonna happen i've done a video of that most of the prophecies that he says guess what it's not a surprise it didn't happen okay they did not happen he said God told him to, this is what's going to happen. It did not happen in 2020 or 20. Yeah, in 2020, it didn't happen because he gave it in January 2020. It did not happen. Watch the video. But now this is the latest. Okay. And Kent Christmas prophesied. Trump is going to be reelected. He'll be president again. That's what God said. He's not president. Forget whether elections were rigged, whether there were there was fraud and all that. That he didn't see any of that. He just said he will be his president. He'll be inaugurated. Okay, January the twenty. He will be the president. He's not. He's the former president. He's not. But here he still believes Trump won. Because he gave a false prophecy, he has to stick by it. Remember, Ken Christmas is in the camp of um, many prophets who, stood, who stands by these false prophecies because they said it and they prophesied it. And one of them, oh, uh, some of them, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the names, uh, Hank Kuhneman, I mean, 100% is gone. Trumpian, and he, he gave a prophecy, and he still thinks Trump is the president. Actually, he will be reinstated. He has actually even said the consequences of Trump not being reinstated. That's what Kent Christmas hands out with, or the, the circle of friends, friends of prophets he has. He has um, many of them. You're going to find them on this YouTube channel, okay? And uh, Timoth Timothy Dixon, he gave 30 days. 30 days in March. Countdown. Trump will be reinstated in 30 days. He didn't happen. After that, he just went on and gave false prophet prophecy after false prophecy. And today, he still give him prof false prophecies. He's the guy. Timothy Dixon is the guy. Who gets dreams from God? God talks to him through dreams. He talks about dreams. If you go to his YouTube channel, it's all about Trump. Okay. It's all about the dreams were God and they all have fell. Okay. Now let's come back to Kent Christmas and let's evaluate what he's saying today. We go right now. 2020, God spoke to me, he said, Donald Trump. In fact, in 2015, he spoke to me, he said, Donald Trump will become president. Did not look possible. He in 2015, God told him Trump will become president. Okay, and he did. In 2020, um, God spoke to him, Trump will become president. Okay, and that's what hey guys that's what i try to say on this channel you can be 99.9 percent .9 right if there is a one percent failure and you're saying god talk, god is not can't cannot lie he's not gonna lie it's gonna be 100 percent. even in the book of acts simon the sorcerer he was actually more accurate than these prophets but he was not from god and he was not speaking on behalf of god God never told him what he was saying, 
but it was accurate, actually. And Paul was mad and cast out the devil or the demon out of Simon. But Ken, Ken Christmas is giving an excuse because God told him in 2020, Trump will be president and will win the re-election. And he's not president now. Now he has to justify, oh, he won. He's because of fraud. And God never told him about any of that. Became president. Most of us thought that he would become president again this time, and he was. He won it by about. Most of us will thought he'll be president this time. This is 2021, and he said, Yes, he is. This is 2021, he's saying that. And he said, He won about it's all trying to manipulate people and trying to make sense of his prophecy that failed. 80 million votes. But Trump got 80 million votes and he won by 80 million votes. Come on. The facts are facts. Okay, we gotta respect facts. We gotta respect what is true, truth, and what is law and these prophets because their prophets prophecy fell they just plow through and confuse and, and it's so sad people in the audience there it's like oh yeah, yeah, yeah because they believe the prophet i i am not one of them i'm here to call that out if you don't like it it's okay but i'm gonna call it out this is manipulation I have done these kind of things and I don't want anybody to fall prey to this kind of uh, political uh, punditry and political, um, you know, things like you package, it, 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 you package politics and bring it as a prophet. It, it, it doesn't work. The issue is more than this. This is not about politics. Yes, it is about politics and you've been political and that's what it is. You've done it. It's politics, buddy. If we reduce it to politics, then we're missing what God is wanting to do. If God say Trump will be president, which means he will be inaugurated, he'll be sitting in the White House, in the Oval, Oval Office. Not about fraud and litigating. If God say that, he'll be inaugurated. January 20th, according to a constitution, it should be. If it's not, which is not, don't try to come back to us and blame us. We didn't have faith. We didn't pray enough. And then you are trying to, it's not about politics. Yes, it is about politics, buddy. This is about releasing the gospel of Jesus Christ no. with signs and wonders no. and miracles. No, it's not. If there ever was an hour that we need an apostolic release of the Holy Ghost it's and the spirit fear. of cancer is a plague in this nation. And as God begins to release the anointing of the Spirit of the Lord, He is raising up men and women that have authority in the Holy Ghost. We're not just your average believer who doesn't know how to pray. That is all political theater, raise a voice, and people are screaming and shouting and clapping. I have done those games. It doesn't work. It's not true. It's not the reality. Uh, God is raising men and women. We've heard that all before. But this is about the prophecy that he gave. And he's trying to justify that. And how to touch the throne room of God. But the Lord says, I am raising up an army in this. The Lord didn't say that. But he's very quick to try to manipulate people since they are in this atmosphere where they can't even hear what he's saying. They're just screaming and shouting and they're in what they call the Holy Ghost, in the spirit. But it is all political theater. That's what it is. Power that cannot be defeated. That is shaking off the enemy. Shaking off the snake by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Lord said, I am putting a shepherd. 
the Lord is not saying that what he's saying the Lord said. Back in the house of the Lord, get ready, says God, for there's an apostolic army of angels that's being released in the atmosphere. No, there's an army of apostolic angels that is released in the atmosphere. That's what the Lord is saying. We've heard that. Paula White, when she learned that, oh, Trump is losing the election as lost and Biden, and she, she charged the angels from Africa, from South America, and she said, you know what? I have a video. She said, the Lord said it is done. It is done. Trump, everything is reversed. Trump will be inaugurated, will be the president. He did not have, it's the same political theater, unfortunately, that is being played in the church. And people are so into this, hey, and shouting and all, and they, they'll go back to their lives. Some, they can't even make mortgage payments. Some are living in it, but they come and they get propped up, you know, and the prophet sits, stands there and says some stuff and people, hey, it was a great. Next year, they come to the same conference there, actually the same, if not worse, in their lives. I am tired of those games. I've played those. I've played those games. One of the things that we have been bereft of in the kingdom of God is that we have sent angels on the sidelines, and the Bible says this: that angels are ministering spirits for the kingdom of the Lord. When you go back and you read the scriptures. One of the things that's going to happen before Jesus Christ comes back is the first thing that's going to happen is the Bible said that God is going to release angels into the earth. And they are going to remove those that offend and commit iniquity in the body of Christ. And there is a death release from God that's getting ready to hit the wicked. I'm not talking about spiritual death. I'm talking about natural death. That God is going to begin to kill wicked men and women in this nation. So God is going to kill the wicked men and women in this nation. <laughs> what kind of... <laughs> God does not want... The scripture said does not wish anybody to perish but come to the serving knowledge. If, if all people and your definition of wickedness or being wicked, if all the wicked people are, are going to be, are, be, are going to be killed by God, says the Lord, well, then we're going to, everybody will be righteous. And I don't know what you mean about righteous. So this is all theater and it's false. The Lord is not going to kill. I mean, Timoth gets, gets uh, he, he has said like, oh, Biden is going to die with a heart attack. Pelosi will be struck with cancer, will die. And they'll be all the, it has never happened. It has not happened. So it's all theater. It's not from God. And God is not speaking. And these are false prophets. That have stood and opposed. Yes, I say a false prophet. Ken Christmas, he's a false prophet. The authority of the Holy Ghost. All right, another good video from Right Wing Watch. So, guys, Ken Christmas, Timothy Dixon, Hank Kuhneman, uh, Robin Bullock. Car Kerr, Mario Moleto, uh, Christian, all these are the people that are featured on this channel that have always prophesied everything about Trump, anything about Trump, and has not come to pass, and they are unrepentant, they are not saying they are wrong, they keep saying these things. Hey, political theater in the church. I will not stop calling this out. Okay? 
if you don't like it it's okay but let's have a conversation and if yeah somebody say oh i'm gonna let it's okay but i'm gonna call this out period and we're gonna have a conversation about it i'll see you in the next video hey if you're not a subscriber come on what are you waiting for hit the button and subscribe hit the bell so that when i upload the video you'll be the first to know and come running to my youtube channel and watch it comment like it here we are reconstructing our faith politics and culture or lifestyle i'll see you in the next video and i thank you so much for watching bye bye